Hello everyone, today of course we're talking about the passing of Ottawa Senators owner Eugene Melnick who passes away at the young age of 62. I know 62 is not a age you think of as young, but you never think of somebody passing away in their 60s, but it appears that he's passed away to an illness. And I know there's a lot of talk about Eugene and how he was as an owner, but let's just talk about, you know, what has happened while he's been owner as well as what could happen in the future of this team in this video so you look at all the years that he owned the team and i believe he bought them in 2003 and i think it was august of 2003 in that time they went to the playoffs nine times and they were pretty successful especially early on when he owned the team they were able to go to the stanley cup finals in 2007 and then they ultimately lost to the Anaheim Ducks in that time. And then also were able to go to the Eastern Conference Finals in 2017, where they ended up losing that overtime Game 7 goal against the Penguins, which led to kind of the current state of the team as things shifted away. Carlson got sent over to San Jose and all those things. But you look at all the years that he owned the team, and, you know, really up until recently, there hadn't been a long playoff drought that he owned them. Uh, take away the years before the conference finals and they had just missed the playoffs it looks like four times in that stretch one two three yeah four times and they never missed back-to-back -back years now again I know he was remembered as a guy that really threw around statements and just went all out and tried to use threats about moving the team out of the city stuff like that in order to get what he wanted but you know Early on, they were fairly successful, and I know that they haven't been very good as of late, but they look like they could maybe, possibly, be turning things around. I don't want to say for sure, because obviously there is still a lot of things going on. But yeah, you look at this, and you think, okay, well, early on, things were good. Things haven't been lately, but now you got to wonder about the future of what happens with this team without Melnick. Some would imagine it'd probably be a lot better, because you don't have an owner that is a cheap guy, um, or that was a cheap guy, you don't have an owner that you really use words to his advantage to try to get you to do what he wanted. But at the f same time, you got to think, you know, he bought this team in 2003 and they're still in Ottawa and nothing against Ottawa because it is a really great city. But there are more favorable markets and there are better places you could go. So you got to wonder, I would imagine Ottawa is staying. I really do think they are going to stay, but you have to wonder. Melnick kept them there for almost the 20 years he owned the team. Is the next owner going to do so? Who is going to be the next owner? Are they going to have the wealth that Melnick had? Um, you know, you look at himself. I think he was at least worth $1 billion, and he was able to have the team there. Again, they were not in an ideal situation underneath him, but they were there, and they did have some success. As for what I think in the future, I have no idea. You know, I would imagine, like I said, they are going to be in Ottawa still. But going forward, this is going to be a really interesting time. And it's one of those things where you hate somebody for a while, but then you might get yourself in a worse situation. Hopefully for Ottawa, that's not the case. And again, I'm not going to dog on Eugene at all because, again, somebody passed away. And from what I can remember, I don't think he ever did anything. It was so crazy that you had to dog on him personally. But yeah, obviously crazy news and he passes away at the young age of 62 i wasn't going to do a video today it is my birthday but with news of this i just had to do it i would say don't get used to this if it is a major holiday or anything but with it being my birthday closing hours and this happening i did it so everybody stay safe have a great night eagle of hockey all right